Oh, diba? Ang perfect. Guwapo na maganda pa, talented pa. Tapos talaga namang nasa Brighton this coming 20. 20, ya. Yeah. Make it with you. With Sir Mark na rin. Kasama mo. Oh, diba? Yung kamay na lang. Opo ko sa harap. Ayan. Oh, ayan. Center po. Sige, center daw muna. Center po. Ayan, o diba? Center the wallet. Tapos side to side mamaya, ha? Ayan, o diba? Of course, sumay lang po muna dito naman kay Ate Kate ng Random Republica, just to be fair. Thank you. Nag-rap pa yung pabunta dito. O ayan, o dito pa raw po sa kapilang side. Fresh na fresh from Japan yung isa, o. Bix? Ayaw ko naman. Upo ka lang, Bix. O si Ma'am si Bix naman. Sa right daw po. Ayan. O last na lang daw po. Mrs. Chua. Ayan, thank you so much. Ayan, pwede na po kayo nga bumati muna. Siyempre, Liza and Enrique. Sa ating mga media friends and pressers. Yes, hi po. Magandang hapon. Hapon, diba? Hapon sa inyo lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po for making it here. Alam ko, napaka-traffic Friday ngayon. Pero nandito tayo ngayon. We're all together. And maraming salamat po. And I hope you enjoy today. Thank you. Ayan, of course. Liza Soberano. Make it with you and Enrique and I and Sir Mark. And um, we hope you guys are as excited as we are for making it with you. Thank you for it. Wow, I did what? I'm gonna miss natin ang Liz Ken, of course, Sir Mark Amos. At syempre, alam ko naman lahat tayo ay busog-lusog na, nakakain na tayo. At marami na tayong mga nag-isip na tanong para sa Liz Ken and of course with Sir Mark. Kaya ngayon, ang mga katanungan natin, open na open na po. Sir Aaron, meron ka na po ba dyan napili ng mga friends natin from media? Yes, ito na. Congratulations sa mga ganda ng trailer niya. Congrats. Um, our first question will come from the entertainment editor of the Manila Standard and now a certified vlogger with more than 200k subscribers for very one. Please welcome Nikki Wong. Wow. Hi, good afternoon. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody is so excited with this, uh, with this series. Uh, Shembe, this is the first time that we're going to talk about the series uh, in a first event. So, First of all, can you share with us kung ano yung uh, roles nyo dito sa, sa series? Um, well, I, was, I play as Gabo. Gabo starts off as a, somewhat para siyang a, a lost boy. Parang ganun. He, he finds himself in Europe. He doesn't know why. But maybe it might show him something that he's looking for. He's not really sure. He's searching for freedom. Somewhat, he's escaping something in the Philippines. Gano lang si Gabo, basically sa ngayon. And then he stumbles upon a very beautiful angel, si Billy, sa Croatia. Ako po, I play Billy de Magiba. She is a free spirit. She's very street smart and family oriented. So all of her decisions, she always has her family at the back of her mind. And she's really striving and working hard to give them Um, yung buhay na feeling niya dapat meron sila. Um, yeah, and like he said, um, I work in Croatia. Parang due to a series of unfortunate events, I end up in Croatia and I make the best out of it. So I start working there. Um, and then one day, I stumble upon Gabo. Mm -hmm. um, 
pwedeng uh, medyo i-clarify na natin sa mga just hard work in Croatia. Yung, I mean, the character. Yeah. Uh, can you specifically tell us kung ano yung work ng character mo dito sa, sa, sa series? So, si Dilly, she she's a racketera. Marami siyang iba't ibang work kasi in Croatia, um, their peak season is summer and I, I guess spring and that's when they have the most work kasi maraming turista. Pero during winter time, wala na talagang turista. So, Work is really hard to find also. So, si Billy, hindi siya, wala siyang stable work. She does a lot of things on the side um, just to get by and to be able to send money to her family. So, at saka marami siyang ano, ginagawa na feeling niya nakakatulong siya pero medyo mali yung mga decisions niya minsan. And of course, a lot of people miss you on, uh, on, on television. Now, um, sabi nila famili familiarity is is really um, a good thing when it comes to working, especially sa television. Pero sa tingin nyo, ano yung uh, advantage and disadvantage ng working with someone who's uh, you're very familiar with and very comfortable with? Um, I think what uh, Derek Cathy was telling us when we were filming recently is kapag masyado ng sanay, medyo mahirap ilabas ang kilig kasi parang nagiging normal na lang. Yeah, parang yeah, yeah. we're used to we're used to being sweet to each other. So, parang it's it's hard to replicate the first parang kilig moment. Uh, yeah. Yun lang. But, um, other than that, it's, it should be easier for us kasi parang we, we know each other on another level. Parang um, we're very sensitive to each other. So, kahit pa parang nakakatulong din that we're familiar. Yeah, I think we, uh, I think it's also a blessing and you know uh, a challenge at the same time, and it goes both it goes both ways for me. Uh, yeah, must um, I mean you get more um, inclined to this person to work with to, to throw scenes with, but it's also going to be a challenge how to keep up, you know, each project and you know keep the the play, make something new or spark something that hasn't been there before, or you know it's it's, it's also a challenge and pretty hard. Uh, it's really nice to keep the flame burning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. How did the you know the shoot outside the country, parang um, added flavor to the relationship? Niyo? Oh well, we we always love traveling and uh, trying out new food. So kami kahit saan mo kami lagay, um, we're gonna make the most out of it, naman. So to be you know in Croatia, pa na, we've never been there before. Eastern Europe, that was like the furthest we've ever been. Uh, sorry, I think it was just an amazing experience. We were lucky to be a part of this trip and this show, and I think we'd go back again if we had to. I think um, working in another country, but um, because it, it becomes so intimate, not just between us, but with the rest of the people we are working with, with the director, with the staff, and the crew, because konti lang kami, so we really have to work and help each other out to finish what we need to do there. And um, of course, ang ganda kasi ng scenery sa Croatia. There's a lot of uh, it's very new also because wala pang teleserye or movie na um, ang location is Croatia so that will add a new flavor also to our teleserye and culture and history because Croatia is very rich in that so parang you're gonna find out more about um, um, Croatia and Europe in that context. Thank you. That's all I learned from myself. Um, I understand it can only keep so much you know, but in a nutshell what kind of ro romance will Make it with you, uh, share with the viewers. What kind of love story do you go to? Uh, I, I think it's going to be a little more mature. A little, daring, an, an, yeah. a little more mature. I think it's a decision making. Namin, I think a new state of characters. Namin, it's a little more mature. Yung mga kailangan namin. I mean, it's choosing about love or or career. And there are options na in sa buhay, di ba? Uh, it's hard. It's hard. Because in, in this day and age, there's so many options and we have so many different priorities. Like, on Gen Z, Chaka Millennials, we really want to work hard to provide for our families or sometimes it's for themselves. So, parang hindi nagiging priority natin ngayon ang love. So, parang make it with you is parang um, in a world of all these options and, and, dreams. and dreams, is love still a viable option? And if it is, is love? Are you if you're ready for love? Is love ready na ba for you? Kapag ready ka na, 
which one would you prioritize, career or love? I always say that's a hard one because, of course, I think, um, of course, the love is there, but nagkakaroon din ng struggles sa relationship when I think you're not it's either you're not financially stable or um, you have some insecurities about yourself because of things you haven't achieved in life yet that you wanted to achieve. So, um, I, th I actually don't know. I, w I would say love, but it sounds so cliche, kasi, diba? but you know, I think love is very important because that, that's what will drive you to, to do even the craziest things. Yeah, well, kung love din naman bibili mo, love is also sacrifice. Eh. And for me, the harder you sacrifice, the more that you love. You know, paniniwala ko. Oh, I'm going to go to the next one. the free spirited Alex Abiliano of Rappler. Free I'm free spirited. I'm going to adjective. I'm going to go to the next one. Anyways, hi guys. Okay, um, I don't, I'm not kind of caught off guard with that. Anyway, um, my question I'm saying that because you've made a lot of heavy drama and romantic um, shows and movies in, in the past, how different is this uh, this show this time? And of course, because you was having an eye, this is the second time actually that I travel, that that was shot in the U in Europe, right? Europe because it did also more. So how different is it? And of course, the story like this time. Um, as you said, Abi, naman kanina yung ating story ng Dolce Mora was finding uh, what was the, the feeling of first love. Yung ganon. Ito kasi it's more about. Um, may mga sarili na tayo may uh, career so kailangan gawin and then parang yun ang mas focus natin love is just an option bali sa story nito ngayon it's more inclined to you know I think the millennials now na after college dati gusto ka magka girlfriend asawa ngayon iba na eh they want to they'd rather hold yung relationship to go to other countries you know, to, to work and then save up. But I don't want to be relationship with here, which my best friend is going to I'm sorry, but uh mga ganong classing stories na, oh nga, no, yung titignan mo, they really want to be successful in a level na, okay lang, it, it can wait. And they're not even sure kung yung love na yun can even wait for them. But okay lang sa kanila. Maybe that, that moment na, sige lang, okay lang, mamaya na yan. See, that, that instance, do nothing kami maghalaro dito sa, so, so story na no? make it with you. Can you feel? Um, just to follow follow it up. One of the things I just mo noticed in the trailer is the transformation that your transformation in this show because like that for the first time had had no not first time but she had her hair curly curly hair. Si Ken parang nagiba din ng nagpudel na. When I say it, it's really like a transformation from the previews na dati mahihin, very maangas. But this one is really a transformation. How, what played as well as like from yung the physical aspect? How did the show, how did doing the show rather help also in transforming your, your looks for this show? Um, I, I would say to say that it's direct Kathy's charm. Like she always likes making our characters look very different physically from our previous characters. Um, but if you notice, like my hair here is kind of like Agnes's, but this time with color. Para kasi, I don't know, um, it adds a different parang visual experience when you see when you see your curly hair in Croatia with the beautiful light and uh, the, the setting so I think it talks about the personality then, yeah it talks about the personality then of our characters um she's more outgoing she's I'm free spirited yeah. um yeah because that's one of the things I noticed Ned, that you actually already said it that this your your character is very much more adventurous, actually. Yes, is yes, the yes. big the big term. So, how for you, how was it playing? Because 
again, we are used to seeing you being very, very quiet. The, the oh, yeah, yeah. simple, mahinhin roles that you in the movie and this one. And si Ken, si Ken has, Ken has been back at fourth and So what about you? How were you able to adjust? Um, I'll admit it was actually a struggle. It's it's because um, I haven't I haven't been taping in a while since Alone Together because I no allow for surgery. So, but um, everything became so new to me again. Um, but what do you call, what do you how do you say this? But um, the the struggle. The struggle. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was it was really hard for me to get back into into a rhythm. But um, Derek Kathy was guiding us all the way. And but um, also before before filming, we uh, I did some research because Derek Kathy told me to watch the movie Erin Brockovich because she wanted my character to be as free spirited as her. So I was really studying like the different mannerisms of her or like people that I. I think are free spirited in general, and parang mas may um, parang angas or I don't know <laughs> how Derek Kathy describes it. Because parang medyo spunky yung character ko din, may may ganon. She can handle herself, you know. And that's very far from who I am in real life. So I really have to like feel like I'm I'm Billy when I'm acting. I really have to forget about my my normal self. Yeah. Ken, what about you on this one? Because you know, you've been traveled, you've been going back and forth in roles. Now, minsan yaba, minsan tahimik, minsan mahinhi. On your part, uh, it's it's always hard. Um, kasi bagong character, bagong ano na man eh. Tapos si Derek Kathy, yung director which I've worked for in a long time na. She wants to see something different all the time. So it's it's also pretty pretty challenging. Because if you've done it before, but how can you do it differently then? Na, I mean, from ten ten, na maholit na ano yung parang <laughs> uh, it's 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 always a process for each character is a new story, and it's a challenge. But I'm always hard on myself. Na parang how do you how can you do it differently? Uh, I don't know. Just make yourself more interesting. It's hard. Thank you so much, Alexa. I'm so sorry to make that up. May fetish sa mga lalaking curly hair. Well, I got when you see Michael Biggs of Mazen. Of Biggs. Hi, guys. I'm not going to be Sir Mark Angus. Kasi ano, you've been doing a lot of rom coms, the serie, Dolce, Got to Believe. Those were hits talaga, di ba? And this time, I'll make it with you. Uh, paano siya iniba dun sa iba na parang hindi maka, maging parehas dun sa mga nauna mo? And when you, start, uh, when you started uh, doing this serie, sila na ba talaga yung nasa isip ninyo yung magbibita? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, una pa lang, unang upo pa lang sa meeting. This, is, this show is about uh, Liza and, and Ken. And we are quite aware of the yung yung career path na dinaanan nila from forevermore dolce so are we are very aware to give something new pagdating sa kanila ng pagiging actor at actress ang ang what I am very excited about also here is when you when you think about got to believe or forevermore or dolce amore parang concept yan ng mga ng mga grand narrative romantic notions of love destiny and all that shit all that, uh, all that uh, idealized notion ng pagmamahal etc etc dito so what I'm excited about it's a rom com right live streaming tayo sa market what I what I'm excited about here is itong dalawang karakter na to ay totoong totoong mga tao na yung pinagdaanan ng experience hindi na to ang first foray nila sa love na sakta na ito meron na silang mga strong held beliefs at because of the decisions that they made makikita sila sa isang foreign na lugar kung saan they are forced to connect to each other so and eventually has to make a decision about their relationship. Hindi not because they think na sila ang kinathana or sila ang 
pinagtakpo ng uh, ng kung sino man ng writer but it's because uh, because uh, if yung yung relasyon nila in the context of their experiences diba so may merong konting cynicism skepticism actually uh, when we were trying to design the character pag nakita niya kasi ang dolce at ang iba nila mga prinsesa diba the, the damsel in distress the rebel without a cause, etc., etc. Ngayon, by portraying this character, is we also wanted the audience to see more of Liza and Enrique, them as individuals, them as humans, as as characters in real life. Because, tulad nga nila, na parang when 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 we posit or when we think of love and career, ang feeling natin. Ah, uh, evil ang love kasi maghihirap ako kapag hindi ko pinili ang career. Or kapag pinili ko ang career, I'm such an ambitiosa at hindi ko naman pinili ang love. No, hindi ganun ang real life. It's not black and white. It's not yes or no. And this character's journey will show us the nuances of those decisions. That sometimes you have to choose this, that there's no right or wrong choice that there's no right and wrong decision, they will be judged on their decisions later on in their life. Pero, ang meron sila is the choice to make. So, yan yung maganda sa character nila. So, medyo malalim at mabigat itong mga character na ipapakita nila. And we are very excited because uh, we know how capable these actors are. And uh, me as a writer and Derek Katia as a director, when we are talking, the creative team, when we're talking, batuhan natin ang mga things na di pa natin nakikita sa kanila. Let's challenge them. Let's push them to the edge of their craft para maipakita at matake them to the next level yung understanding at pagkakakilala natin sa list camp. Interesting. So, gaano po matagal yung uh, story nila doon sa Croatia? Croatia is without a... Uh, Ang, 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 ito ang kwentong global serie. I mean, without telling much, ay, ay, ayoko munang sabihin ng plano. Pero pupunta kami sa... hindi, malaki. Ayoko sabihin ng plano. Pero nag-start sa Croatia, ah. may kwento sa Pilipinas, at marami pang chapter kung saan saan. Wow, na wow. Pwede punta. So, ah. the vision of this, uh, is to, of this show is to... I mean... Hindi na lang to na parang uh, it's an Italian bella story, yes. diba? It's a story of Filipinos kahit saang parte man ng mundo, parehong decision, parehong choices confronted. So that's what is exciting about this this kwento. Of course, nakita na natin sa Croatia, di ba? Para tapatan natin ng Game of Thrones pag simula tayo sa, <laughs> sa Croatia. But this story, as in vision, will go to places and will go to different aspects of humanity and emotions in terms of their characterization as well. So, ano, one word that best describes this whole, uh, whole serie? Pwede bang two words? Two words. <laughs> 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 or three. This is a uh, um, different and unique since the words, right? Yeah. Different and uh, different but familiar. Wow. 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 Uh, Sari was uh, fantasy. Then Wow. 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 Well, na miss na rin. Di naman namin, I mean, to, to tape your rom-coms. We've been doing it actually for a long time. Halos, um, a lot of our projects has been rom-coms. And, um, of course, syempre na may miss mo. Syempre, diba, iba yung feeling kapag medyo, oh nga no, hindi ba tayo nagaganto. Tapos you veer out for a second and then come back. But, um, for some reason, parang, it was also a, 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 something inside you also want to do, you know, more than rom-com but you know um it's fine i mean this is what this is our life this is liz ken and um i'm just excited to be back uh doing a rom-com series and i just really can't wait for this to come out i'm i'm super excited and happy because i always 
specifically like make lumbing <laughs> for it to be a rom-com something yeah. that's that's light for the viewers to yeah, handle yeah. because but because we enjoy also pag rom-com kasi yung yung mga family members yeah, yung mga kasi cast I'm really like a solid couple media I like to watch teleseries and I I specifically like I specifically <laughs> like to watch teleseries that I know um, will impart um, lessons with me and with my family, but at the same time, is light and yung pagtulog ko sa gabi parang ang gaan gaan ng ng feeling. So that's what I like about doing rom coms. It, it's because sometimes you're like at the happiest moment when it's when it's all the lo like lovey dovey scenes yeah. and everything, but then also at times it can be a little painful when when. Mm -hmm. Um, the decision making starts coming in into the storyline. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be doing rom com. It's something that, like he said, is dif this show is something different, different but familiar. familiar. Yeah. So it's it's also challenging because you always have to show something different. Na hindi para na papa kita. Yeah. And sa mga parang inaabangan din dito yung, yung nakasabi din si Fumia sa Croatia. How was working with uh, Fumia? No, really, he's like our little brother. Na. Oh, and he he's very easy to work with. Mm -hmm. He takes um directions very seriously and he, he's able to deliver naman. And uh, it was really fun. Yeah, like, so even he's on super the respectful, tapos lagi siya tumutulong, lagi siyang um nagugutom din. Hindi siya marunong magluto. He's so animated that he starts looking like this character that you watch on TV. But he's so nice and so he loves working with him. First Serenia Yes, first Serenia. He's really happy about it. So, what are the other artists that you Um, kasama din po namin si Miss Katya Santos. Um, sila actually yung yeah. parang family ko, second family ko in Croatia. <laughs> sila yung parang second family ko in Croatia. And then we also have Croatian actors with us. Mm. Tapos yung rest? Secret. Secret mo daw. Asap. Sa Grand Press ko na lang big. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, our next question will come from the Miss Croatia herself. Rather than Kate Adalar of uh, Rando Repulsion. Yun! Kulang na lang highlight for her. For Sir Mark, I mean, developing the characters, did you have real life references or accumulation? Siguro kaya it took time then because uh, we wanted to be true in our representation or in our presentation of their characters. So, uh, actually, we've been developing this for a year now. So, we did a lot of research. Diba? Uh, we interviewed a lot of uh, uh, people. Diba? And, uh, maraming pinagdaanan yung story uh, to eventually come here. And then, when uh, Direct Kati got on board, diba? eh, meron din siyang mga insights that are actually uh, made uh, the story na mas, mas buo pa at mas may lalim pa at mas uh, maganda pa. So, uh, so yes, uh, pero huwag na lang natin sabihin yung real life reference kasi <laughs> mayroong nang-disclosure. Sige, charot. Thank you. And for Liz, Ken, ano, we've seen you grow as a love team through the years and you surely have uh, made it through a lot of challenges. Pero as a couple, ano, uh, ano yung mga natutunan nyo? What have you learned um, that you need to do to maintain a relationship? Um, I think, yeah, listen. <laughs> Trust and I think res yeah, patience and respect one another, 100%. And also, um, yeah, patience. Patience. I think, well, the number one understand. thing is to listen so that you, you empathize with your yeah. partner and and that way, well, I'm misunderstanding. <laughs> tama, tama, yeah. And curious lang din. And I think also, I think also shooting rom coms, I think for, for us, no, really, I think shooting rom coms, I think, helps us, you know, in a way, fall in love again. You know, it brings us to the, to the environment and situation that uh, you get to fall in love again. You know? but, uh, it's your job to fall in love again. But uh, it's different. Yun. So uh, that's why you can't take rom-com out. It's different when you do rom-coms. And I think that's what helps us, you know, doing rom-coms, igniting a flame. 
<laughs> You've been together for quite some time, no? Sabi kasi nila familiarity sometimes brings contempt. Yes, um, well. May mga times ba na may tampuhan tapos you need to, to do kilik scenes and oh, oh, no, cover man. those moves? Means that. Means that. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's just that it's possible na bang... Parang I don't remember doing a kilik scene, scene though na nagdat, nagkakatampo. Meron ba? Hindi ko lang alam. Ah, hindi mo lang siguro pa. Baka meron. Baka na. Yeah, meron din. Konting tampo tampo. Pero buti na lang sa Pero buti na lang sa scene. Diba? Tampo. Pero pag nag-action sa scene, di madadala ka na yung day after ng scene. Okay na. Diba? I think so. Kasi sa scene naman, okay kayo. Di lang yung okay kayo. Di na yun. Di na yun. Di na yun. Di na yun. I think diba? so, about our relationship is, is, is that we're very professional. Yeah, um, well, I'm not saying that other people aren't, but like I noticed about us when we do fight before um, taking a scene, usually we fight in the tent, of course, and we don't yell. We, we, we've never really done that on set, but parang may konting away lang. And then when we exit the tent, parang we're not Liza and Enrique anymore. We're Billy and Gabot now. So, parang we forget about the tampo, and then, syempre, kilig-kilig yung scene. So, after, we forget that you were fighting pala. Like, Diyan lagi niya ako nakukuha eh. Nag-away <laughs> kami. After ng kilig scene, parang walang nangyari. Kilig-kilig mo ba kasi, si Kreto eh? Hindi ako lang na-realize ba? Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Ito ang susunod na magtatanong. Gamit na gamit niya ang linyang Make It With You sa kanyang boyfriend. Wala iba ako ni si Albert Abilido o Monthly allowance? Yes. Ano naman? At European currency. Gusto niya na rin sa kanya. Hi, congratulations. Congratulations sa'yo. Ano yung tawag nito? Kasi yung mga love teams of your league were, anong tawag nito? Trinay sila sa ibang partners. Ganyan. So, um, sa inyo ba na-propose yung ganong idea? Oh, And no. were you lucky, were you happy na hindi siya nagtuloy-tuloy? Um, I think it comes to a time where everybody has to, I believe. Tsaka, I mean, isipin mo rin yung, ano, if you use two different love teams. Siyempre, yung both love teams, manonood yan. Siyempre, eh, sure hit yun, di ba? It's gonna be really, really good. So, I mean, it comes to a time that you really have to change up, you know, stories. And it's also nice to see somebody different sometimes, you know, portraying other characters. I'm sure the fans will not, some fans are not may mga magagalit or not, but it's more than just catching to the fans. It's also, you know, doing nice movies and, and nice stories. And you know, to see something different also. So yeah, the offer that Simon, but we're not. It, it actually was brought up. You know, it, it wasn't it was brought, brought up, up for like at the moment. They were like asking us, "Sina ina, are you guys open to working with other actors mm -hmm. and actresses in the future?" So, parang I don't think that it was really time for us, or well, it's not time for us yet to separate. But um, it's really inevitable because we all need it for our growth and also for the company's growth as well. So it's not like when they when they partner um, certain individuals from a love team that they're separating the love team. It's not really like that because they can always do another project right after. So the love team's always there. It's just they're they're expanding their um, their craft and and their talent. Yeah. mas kikita talaga yung moves kung ganon ipaghiwalay mo yung mga lahat. You get most of the market of the both. Yeah, and people get curious, exciting. and people want to watch it because they're not the sila. Bakit? It's it's typical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, second question ko is um, ano na yung ano yung pinaka nakakakilig na kinawa ng isang pista na for a kiss and make up situation. Relate na relate si Albert dyan. Para makakuha na rin. There was one time that we were fighting and then he went, because he lives in Paranaque, I live in Quezon City. He, well, parang medyo late na rin yun. He drove all the way from his house to my house and brought me food. Anong food? 
Jollibee joke. <laughs> um, he and his mom's home homemade um, curry, Japanese curry, and then other food. Because I love his mom's cooking, so he always knows to bring me that. About to and then she she gets me oh, she gets me uh, food snacks also yeah <laughs> I'm not going to say that. 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 I'm not going to I, I guess she's more relaxed because they're there and she really loves Hawaii, so we opted to go with her. Uh, but we'll be going to LA first. Family. 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 Thank you, Congress. Thank you. Thank you, Albert. Our next question will come from the Wanderer, Bernie Guido of Pep.ph. Go, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Talk <laughs> <laughs> about uh, being one of the most successful love teams in the country um, and doing a lot of the series movies before. What is the biggest challenge? Showing something different each time. Because yes. we, we really want, especially our, our solid viewers, um, to always have a new experience every time they watch a new show. and. Um, it's, it's really hard to make it different because uh, we work with the same team almost all the time. See, Sir Mark actually left like that. Sir Mark and Mr. Nutt, except for my first. Um, and then the directors of Dinamin, it usually is direct Kathy, direct May, direct Richard. So um, it's really hard to make it different, but I guess with the right guidance through Sir Mark and through direct Kathy, they, they really um, help motivate us and inspire us to become more creative um, and of course they always give us and they want the best for us so they really push us to our limits to to show something different and and to improve our acting skills even more because aside from just um, like the difference in the storytelling we also want to show them our improvement or our growth as actors oh it's just the same <laughs> just the same exactly Okay. So how do you keep the you know, spark? You know, the spark? Uh, it's hard, but uh, I feel like I said the more I, the more you try, but the more it's it's not gonna work. But um, before, because we did we did try it. But um, yeah, but I don't know. But now, when you think about it, how can you make it different? But it's more like mahirap pa nga eh. Huwag mo na isipin na siguro na lang. Kasi before ganun, inisip ko lang ngayon. Like before we're to take forever more dolce, wala kami inisip, hindi kami nagtatry masyado. Like, I mean, chemistry ganun. Wala eh. Parang, di ba, parang cringy masyado kapag halatang nagpapagaling or ganun. So it's, ano eh. I think to make it feel so natural is the hardest thing. Yung tipong, hindi ka talaga nagtatry. Pero, yun, yun ang mahirap na part para sa akin. I think I keep the spark, like, like um, the love for my craft, um, through my family and through my loved ones, because I'm constantly like at the back of my head. I always want a good life for them, and um, since I'm the breadwinner, I have like a lot to. I have to keep working and like help support a lot of people. So, but and they're always at the back of my mind, pushing me and telling me that I have to, I have to work. I have to do better each time so that. I'll keep getting projects, of course. So, yeah, it's that. It's actually kind of what our story is about. So, I can get into it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Burns. Our next question will come from Ito, another social media influencer with uh, 6.6 million views on your blog. Stars put out, no other than the late 
Alan, saan ko? Ano ang namatay na? Congratulations this year. Nice to see you again. Yes, for a long time, di ba? Parang, tanong ko lang kung ano yung pinaka-challenging part of your shoot sa Croatia, kung saan, eh, kumbaga, this is a different kind of digital platform that you wish. Ano yung mga na-encounter niyong problem? Um, super onti lang kasi yung Philippine team namin na nandun. So, we really had to help each other, like, magbuhat din ng gamit and everything. So, mostly yung mga boy. And so, yung mga locations din at that was yeah. very... Far apart, so lagi kami nang to travel. Also the language barrier, I guess, like the communication with the Philippine staff and the Croatian team. Parang minsan nakakaroon ng miscommunication because they don't really understand. But I I think everything went pretty smooth, naman. I think it yeah it was pretty smooth. Hindi walang walang talagang difficulties na sobrang parang oh my god hindi matatapos to walang ganong feeling so. I, I'm really happy that everything was, went well there. Yeah, we we were able to finish most of the scenes. Actually, almost all the scenes uh, kailangan namin to focus on. So I think it was pretty good. We shot like almost a hundred plus scenes. I, I think our biggest challenge is yung Dubrovnik. Uh, oh, yeah. It's a tourist spot. Eh, dumating kami ng peak season. Oh, peak season. <laughs> so, mayroong dalawa, dalawa or tatlong uh, mga ship 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 and it's like it's basically ha having uh, five thousand extra na wala wala kang control. Yeah. So yeah, and in Croatia you're not allowed. You hindi pa din sitahin, or you yeah. can't say you don't look. You can't do that. And uh, the, the the fun thing and the good thing is, uh, itong dalawa because they're portraying their characters. For example, in one scene, ang perfect ng shot biglang may tumang nakakantahan, and then you have the character of uh, Gabo suddenly joining, I mean, Enrique was uh, uh, snappy enough and uh, na mabilis siyang nag-adjust kasi sayang yung ano, eh, wala ng araw and then say, <laughs> at yung araw doon ang bilis, di ba? Yeah, so, very. So, things like that. Eh, yung, yung Dubrovnik ang pinaka-challenging for them but uh, the good thing about this is sport lahat so uh, uh, they can easily adjust, di ba? Uh, alam niya kapag second take, tatakbo agad at babalik sa kanya marker, etc. etc. That's why it's easy working with this Ken, lalo na pag uh, nasa abroad. So. Direct, uh, siyempre of course, yun, uh, yun nagkaroon kayo ng permit, di ba? Pero bawal pa rin talaga i-secure yung place, parang ganun, parang hindi mo pwede. Yes, may, meron kaming permit basically. Uh, person. Yes, hindi pwede, ano. Kasi nga, uh, that's, a, that's a historical spot. So, mas importante sa kanila that the that the tourists are appreciating culture and history etc etc unless is even even Game of Thrones has has such a winter ah uh, ng walang tao don and basically pay gazillions of dollars to shut down the the, the whole day so eh, meron lang kami ion of the a few couple of bucks lang meron kami so 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 uh, it's 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 very challenging I mean uh, uh, we we knew coming in from our research and from our understanding na mahira pero nung nakita namin eh iba din pala yung level it's one of, because of uh, because of Game of Thrones and the likes uh, grabe yung popularity kasi bigla uh, in one season they can have one to two million tourists coming there I mean they are near arrival na nila ang Rome even ang Paris in terms of tourists so um, but it was fun kasi nga uh, uh, everyone is uh, coming in ang meeting uh, uupo sila sa meeting Everyone has to improvise, be in character. They are being asked to be in character basically in two three minutes, and be in character the whole day, para hindi namin madisrupt as much as possible. Or bakak idiport kami ng Croatia kapag disrupt namin na buong process nila. Tano pa lang rin yung encounter niya with your fans. Kaya alam naman natin all over the world may mga Filipino, di ba? Yes po. Yung kayo ba may mga fans ko? Yes po. Marami tuto, marami mga Pinoy na buong buong fans though there actually galing sila sa mga cruise ships yeah from the cruise ships hindi sila nakatira doon kasi 
Konti lang talaga. Croatia so, only has how many Filipinos? 100 something. Yeah, konti lang talaga doon sa... The whole of Croatia. So, parang never kami naka-encounter ng mga Pinoy na nakatira talaga doon except for the two na kasama namin na from there were working with us. So, pero maraming galing sa cruise ship na... Uh, doon sa mga cruise ship na bumababa, <laughs> tapos mga shopping lang, mga bibili or gano'n, yun nakikita, nakikita nila kami tapos yung papapicture, tapos babalik na. Habang bilis lang kami sila kasi may ano pa kami, nakamalit sila. So, marami yung Pinoy doon, marami din. This is good to see. And then, uh, I like your look, no? How do you, how do you, ano, uh, to each other, how do you describe or how do you assess yung bagong look nyo? Parang pagpasok kanina, kala ko may foreign, may mga foreign guest tayo. No, may how, how do you assess yung look? Uh, and then, okay, how do you assess yung look na yung Liza now? Uh, I love the hat. Kaso tabingi. Diyo ko lang. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Siyempre, it's beautiful as you're eating. Diyo ko lang. Diyo ko lang. She's always, she always looks amazing. Man. Sabi She's kayo 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 I mean, sabi, sabi kayo nagpa-curl ng mga. Opo, dun sa vet. Diyo ko lang. Diyo ko lang. K-pop-ish, because we, we had our hair, he had his hair permed at yeah. Zero One Story Salon. Yung, <laughs> he's really Korean, French and Uriyan bang. So, ako, oh, guwapong guwapo ako. Oh, wow. Wow. In an assertion of mama niya eh. But me and Andy, his sister, love it because we're like so strongly influenced by the Korean like fashion industry and makeup industry. So, that's what I'm inspired by. Yeah. And mas gusto mo ba yung ganyang look ni, ni Enrique kaysa mas straight yung hair niya? How... I think I like it kasi mm. mas may volume and parang mas may character yung mukha niya. Mas! Arf! Sorry! 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 Is it your first time to make that? Yes, that is a uh, pictorial that was never going to be done. It's a bench fix. Ay, ne, ne, joke lang. Joke lang. Yeah, that's it. Pero okay naman. Mas okay naman to. <laughs> yung first impression nyo, na after yung makita ikaw, eh, uh, Liza, na nakita mo na, oh, wow, pulot yung book. Nagulat, nagulat talaga ako <laughs> nung nasa salon kami kasi nauna ako matapos. When I was walking to the seer, nangita ko siya. So, oh, you, oh. Uh, shoot, my like, foggy. Oh, my foggy. Oh, so, nagulat talaga ako. And then I called the sister, I was like, it's the same thing. I guess para lang maiba naman. How about you, yung hair ni ano ni Liza. Ganda, I like the the curl. <laughs> so lang, yung curly na yung highlights. I really like the highlights. I love and um, the highlights. I like it. Gusto ko pag may bangs yun siya. Ayoko pag sobrang curly lang ng hair niya. Yung Agnes times. Yung, <laughs> ano na nga yung hair ko? No, forever more. Hindi naman sobra, pero yung too much curls, uh, ayoko masyado. Yung OA na curls. Yung Kasi naaalala niyo yung mga characters. Hindi, hindi naman. Parang mas gusto ko na na may little curl lang. Hindi yung sobra. Medyo wavy na may konti. Tanda naman, nagpa-curl ka rin nun sa ano, di ba? Forever more tama. Hindi sa sipan kasi. Ayun, yun. Ayoko nung ganun classic curl masyado. Actually, nagpa-perm yung parang ginawa niya. Yung aking kinagirl lang talaga everyday. Ah, hindi permanent. Hindi po. Yung kay... Hey, Enrique, permanent po. Permanent. Mm -hmm. And last na lang, <laughs> kasi this... this <laughs> parang gusto mong magpakulot, ano? 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 Gusto mong So we're going to be able to do it. 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 We're
movie, parang laging out of the box yung mga character and then parang parang walang limit yung mga gagawin. This time ba, may mga kakakitaan din na parang mga intimate scene or parang I mean, I mean, kiss on screen, something like that. Hindi lang kiss. Joke lang. I'm not ready for mature roles. Joke lang. Hindi. We'll see. Abangan nyo na lang po. Um, like we said, it's more mature and daring, pero not to the point na it's out of our brand. So, yeah. Meron namang intimate, pero not as much as we think. <laughs> pero meron din. Sige, kung meron man, how do you describe it? Kaya na lang po, bahala, intindihin kung ano yung nangyayari sa sila. I think ang galang sumagal si Sir Mark. Ah, Sir Mark. Oh, ah, ewan ko. Ang sabi sa akin, sa super intimate eh. Wow! If there is, how do you prepare for that super intimate scene? Sha, total mouthwash. Ano yung pinaglalaro ng total mouthwash? Actually, hindi pa nga nung une. Sabi ko kasi, when we were filming She's the One before, di ba may kissing scene sila ni Ate Bea? Lagi ko siya nakikita nun na nag-mouth, yung malaking mouthwash. Nakakalahati niya. As in, tapos nung alone together, yung first scene namin nag-kiss, kakakain niya nang yata ng, anong kinain mo nun? Parang yung mga street food sa UP. Mga, mga, kwek-kwek. Sabi ko, di man lang nag-toothbrush ko. Masyadong comfortable. Oo, sinabi ko yun. Sabi mo, wag na kasi ako rin naman i-smell like... Oo, sinabi ko din ako. Tuna. Gusto mo ba ako ba? Sabi ko, lahat yun. 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 Pero sa totoo lang, sa kisi, ako yung mas magaling. Work lang talaga, as in, uh, workshop. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Mas, ako kasi medyo na nakilakasan. Kinakabala ko may ganun eh. Pero mas magaling ako mag-kiss. Mas, 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 relax lang siya. Mas kayang na ako na ano. Pero pagdating sa kiss, syempre eh. Okay. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
nag-take kami ng scene tapos hindi ko lang sobrang kinilig siya sa akin nahulog siya nahulog siya hindi pa kayo ni Pris 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 oh my god summer 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 parang nabuisit ako sa iyo parang nabuisit ako sa iyo parang nabuisit ako sa iyo parang nabuisit ako okay as much as we want to accommodate more questions one more one more one more Yes, unang po sa lahat, maraming maraming salamat po ulit. Inihatog po ng APS-CBN Star Creators, of course, the works of Senator Cathy, of course, Mark Angus, the mind behind all his wonderful teleseries. Isa na Anderic Richard, of course, directly. Sa inyo lang po, we just want to say maraming maraming salamat. We're so excited to... to present you this show at sana yes. po eh, uh, mag-enjoy din po kayo at sana we can make it with you together thank you guys I love you ah, enjoy what's up nice yes. <laughs> <laughs>